Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm senior airman James Bueller. One program at Seoul American High School has students cleaning lights and building mini submarines. Army Sergeant Anthony King takes us to the high school to find out why. Students from Seoul American High School receive hands-on training in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, known as a STEM initiative. Science is neat. It's discovery. It's using what you learn in the real world, figuring out why things work, how things work, inventing things, playing. STEM students been part of the morning cleaning stage lights in the high school auditorium. Maybe you don't think you're going to go into that field, but then when you're exposed to it, to actually what they do, then you might be like, oh, wow, this is what I want to do with my life. Now put the solder, I'll get the STEM class receives the skills they need to be competitive in a technical world while learning to build mini submarines in the afternoon. I feel very strongly that we're not giving the kids everything they can possibly need to succeed unless we're doing these things outside of the normal classroom. A partnership and education agreement ensuring continued support for the STEM initiative at Dodge schools in Korea is signed by Major General Kendall Cox. The intent is fundamentally to get the students to understand, number one, what those educational fields are about, and then number two, create that passion, that burning desire in their heart to be a part of it. Army Sergeant Anthony King, Young Sung, Korea. Major General Cox also said it's important to capture the students' interest in these critical areas before it's too late. That was your Korea Update. I'm Senior Airman James Bueller.